Okay, here's a fractal antenna I had built um, from plans I got off the internet. If you search, if you Google search fractal antenna, uh, this will come up, the star pattern. It works good. It actually it works pretty good. It's better than anything I could buy at the store. I went to Best Buy and finally got banned from because I'd I'd return them. I'd get the antennas and they wouldn't outperform this, so I'd return them. The problem with this pattern here is it does not pick up. It works great for UHF, but it does not pick up the high VHF channels. And we just happen to have one channel in the area which is high VHF, so it would not pick it up. So that was phase one, and I liked it because it was a nice clean. It looks like a piece of art. Okay. Phase two was this one, which is uh, a lot bigger. Um, it uh, it's just regular electric wire, 16 or 18. I can't remember which gauge it is right now. I'm saying it's probably 18, but I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, this works great because unlike the, the other antenna, this one will pick up the high VHF, so it works good. And this, I've actually picked up, I have one of these in the attic right now in my house, and I actually pick up uh, stations in, no, in, uh, out towards Norfolk and Williamsburg and all uh, that are 60 some odd miles away. So it's a, it's a good antenna, depending on what the weather is doing, it, it uh, comes and goes. But uh, So I have that hooked up and TV set upstairs. Um, and it, like I said, it works really good. The ones in Norfolk, I usually get about a 25% uh, whatever it's based on the range. Most of my signals come in 50% or 75%, so that's really good. So like I said, this works good. And the only thing I've done with that is using that same pattern is I had made the uh, this one here, which is basically the star pattern it's, it's basically this antenna. I just neatened it up and made it look nicer and all. And uh, like I said, it's great. I can hang it. It looks like a piece of art on the wall. It's uh, the same thickness as the lines and the, the the smaller pattern here. I left it. I think that was quarter inch, maybe. I'm not 100 percent sure. But just followed the you know the angles and the distances and everything else and all. Made it that way. It's just a piece of plexiglass. I sprayed the one side with uh, contact cement. I taped off the edge, sprayed it with contact cement, put foil in there, two pieces, one this way and one this way, and then just took an X-Acto knife. I used a piece of uh, gift wrapping paper to draw the pattern on, taped it to the plastic over the, the uh, aluminum, and then just took an X-Acto knife and just followed the lines and just cut it up very carefully using a ruler and all, and then just peeled away the unwanted aluminum foil. And like I said, this thing, I've got it hanging downstairs. I don't get the channels in Norfolk because it's downstairs for one thing, but it, it works just works great. The only thing is there is some antennas that are off uh, in 90 degrees from where all the other antennas are off. And that's the only thing is sometimes I've got to move it to the other wall uh, where it's oriented in that that direction and it'll pick those stations up good but it works it works well and like I said every time I buy it and I bought an antenna um, I'd end up taking it back because it didn't do any better than what I had here in, in most cases this style outperformed anything I could buy in the store so that's it thank you bye